what is factorial design factorial design is a form of true experimental design and because of being true experimental design it fulfills the conditions of true experimental design and which is basically random allocation of individuals to different groups so factorial design being an experimental design deals with variables and as we know that these variables are independent and dependent variables but what is so special about factorial design the importance of factorial design is because of its unique feature that it consists of two or more independent variables and it investigates the effect of more than two independent variables on the dependent variable in normal experimental design we restrict ourselves to only one independent variable and then see the effect of that one independent variable on the dv or dependent variable thus it investigates the effect of two independent variable and also their interactive influence on the dependent variable that when the two variables interact so what will be the combined effect of these two variables on the dependent variable for example if in an experiment we want to find the effect of two drugs so drug a and drug b on the patient's sugar level so here we have two drugs and because of this we have two independent variables one is drug a and the second is drug b so these are our two independent variables while the patient's sugar level would be the dependent variable so we can administer these two drugs to different groups of patients and then see the effect of both the drugs on the patient sugar level so such kind of studies are coming in factorial design as i already mentioned that factorial design helped in finding the individual effect of each independent variable on the dv or the dependent variable and this will be called the mean effect because we have two independent variables in factorial design so if we investigate the effect of one variable on the dependent variable we can have its main effect and similarly for the second variable again we can find the main effect of the second variable on the dv but apart from this we can also find and explore the interactive effect that when both of these two variables the independent variables act on dv so how they will be changing the values of dv when both of them are interacting together on the dv and this is called the interaction effect so while the experimental design deals with one independent variable the factorial design has the capacity to include more than one variable and can see the effect of these independent variables on the dv if we look at this topic the impact of depression on weight so we can see that there are two variables one is the depression and the second is the weight so depression being independent variable and the change in the weight is the dependent variable so this is coming under simple experimental design or we can say one way experimental design but if we want to convert this topic into factorial design topic so we have to introduce another independent variable as well so we can see the new topic as impact of depression on weight in different genders so i have introduced another independent variable which is the gender so because we have two categories for the gender male and female so this will be our next independent variable so now this topic will be coming under factorial design let's see another example effect of type of instruction on students performance again this is a simple one way experimental design topic so the type of instruction is one independent variable and the student performance because it depends on the type of instruction therefore it is dv or dependent variable and we don't have any other independent variable here but if we want to make this topic under factorial design then we have to add another independent variable for example effect of type of instruction on student performance in different schools so now we can see that i have introduced another iv 
which is the different schools. So because we will be changing the schools and then see the effect of type of instruction in different schools on the student performance. So this is now a factorial design topic. While we have independent variable in an experimental design, so these independent variable are also sometimes called factors. But as we know that in factorial design, we have more than one independent variable. And therefore, if we study more than one variable, which means if we study two or more independent variables, therefore we have two or more factors. And therefore we have the name factorial design. That it's an experimental design in which we have different factors and we investigate the effect of or the influence of different factors on the DV.